Hey everybody, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today I'm looking at an expansion for a game that I covered a long time ago on the channel. This was, I think, the first review copy I ever received, and I think in the review I was dressed up as Captain America. Don't go watch it. <laughs> but we are talking about The Reckoners, which is based on Brandon Sanderson's sort of evil superhero series that I've read and really love. And specifically, I'm going to be playing the Steel Slayer expansion, which should be available very soon. And if you like the content on the One Stop Co-op Shop, consider supporting us through Patreon. You get early access to our videos and exclusive videos every month. You cannot see these anywhere else. You can also watch our separate streaming channel for even more content. Listen to awesome conversations on our podcast every week. We just recorded our 300th episode coming soon. Or join the conversation on our Discord. So the basic idea of the Reckoners series is what if superheroes but bad, <laughs> which has become a lot more of a common thing now with uh, Invincible and the boys and all that stuff. But the basic idea of the game, the victory condition, is that you're trying to beat a big boss. In the original game, it was just Steelheart, who is kind of like evil Superman. But in the Steel Slayer expansion, you have a couple of different ones to play around with. I'm playing against Regalia today, who can like control water, manipulate lots of stuff. But the victory condition is you have to uncover their weakness. Basically, every superhero has their own kryptonite. And once you do that, you can actually attack them. And if we get Regalia's health down, I know it's a little bit hard to see these uh, cubes in here. Uh, if we get her down to zero, defeat her, then we win the game. And how we do that is with our awesome Reckoner heroes. You've got four new ones in the expansion. I'm playing two of them. I've got Mizzy, the demolitions expert. She can lay down a lot of hurting on the epics, which are what the uh, enemies are called. And I've also got Sam, a gun-toting wild card with every type of dice in the game. And basically we'll be going around the city, kind of putting out fires and trying to keep the different epics in check. There's one in charge of each district. And in addition to new heroes, new items, we've also got all new epics with more unique abilities, which was one of my main complaints with the original game. So it's really cool they did that. And you got new bosses, I already said, and you've also got new cities that have unique abilities. And in the case of Babylar, which is basically flooded New York City, now you've got these unique tracks for each location, and instead of doing research on Regalia herself, I'll be knocking down these research tracks, and I have to get all three locations tracks down to zero, and that's when I can attack her. In the original game, you could just kind of like potentially sit on some locations and ignore others. Uh, here you have to do research at specific places. Now the basic idea of our actions, like I said, it's a dice placement game. Or not really dice placement, I guess the dice have actions on themselves. Uh, it's based on the color, so every die has every action represented, but for the non-white dice, you get a double of the uh, icon matching the color. So the plan action matches the black dice, the money action matches the yellow dice, so you have a chance of getting a double action with the dice. But you roll in sort of Yahtzee-ish, or actually more Elder Sign fashion, in that you can roll your dice three times, but each time you roll, you have to keep at least one die. They can go in these nice little handy-dandy roll things here. And after you finish rolling, you can slot all your dice into these action spaces, and in cooperative fashion, you can go back and forth using your actions, resolving them in whatever order you like. And everything in this game is simultaneous, which I love. So the players are rolling their dice at the same time and talking to each other and saying, hey, we need more of this, can you re-roll those? And they're using actions kind of back and forth simultaneously. So it's a really nice, quick flowing game for co-op. Now I'm playing solo, so I'm controlling both characters, so it's gonna be a little bit more wonky where I kind of have to like arbitrarily go back and forth, but we'll make it work. Now after we complete our actions, the epics in each of the districts will go and they've got this little slider here and every icon to the left is what they resolve in left to right order so uh, they will kind of power up so they power up automatically every turn but they can be boosted by the enforcement miniatures that can be added to districts by different effects and they have a bunch of icons especially in the expansion characters it'll do lots of things to mess with you or to boost the boss and make them stronger because after you activate all of the epics you also activate all of the boss's tracks all four of them in Regalia's case, she also attacks one of you with one of these Attack Reckoners cards, so lots of nasty business. But one of the main things the bosses and the epics will attack is the city itself, and this population track, which starts at 40, is your loss condition. If this ever goes down to zero, you failed and lost the city completely, and you lose the game. And by the way, there are item cards you can buy to boost yourselves up. And you get the chance to do that at the beginning of the game with up to four money. I bought a drone for Mizzy, which is going to let her blast away some Enforcer miniatures every turn for free. Pretty awesome. And then uh, she's got her Demolition ability and Sam's got his Wild Card ability. And I should also say you've got these plan tokens that come from the plan action. And these are basically wild actions. You can use them as though it was a die with any uh, single facing of your choice. So all right, that should be enough to go on. I'll explain specifics as we go. Let's get into the first round of the Reckoners. I'm playing on normal difficulty, by the way, and see if we can save the city and defeat these superheroes gone wrong. 
So the first phase of each turn is the roll dice phase. And again, this is simultaneous technically, but we'll just go ahead and kind of like go back and forth. And just kind of show you what I'm worried about. I'd like to get some of these blue actions, which will decrease the uh, Reckoner tracks, kind of keep them in check so they don't uh, mess us up too much. But I think I might want to straight up defeat Pink Pinkness because uh, she has some nice benefits. And also her main power is all around stealing my stuff. So she could like take my nice four cost drone card. We don't want that. Now to defeat her, I have two options. I can just whittle down her health all the way from seven to zero, but I get a big bonus if I can research her first. Well, not as big of a bonus in this case. If I can get the research track down to zero and find out what her weakness is, uh, she goes to four life as long as she was four or above. So I can basically get like three free damage with three research. I guess it's all kind of equivalent, but it gives me something to do with uh, hourglass icons if I roll them. All right, so let's see, um, what do I want to keep? So we did get two attack icons, and that's kind of what I was going for, and a double plan icon, that's the best you can roll on a black die. The only negative is that you don't get to use plan tokens the turn you gain them, except for the ones we started with. So this is like two wild actions for next turn, won't help me much right now. But that seems good for Mizzy. Let's roll again, we don't need the rest of that. Remember, we only have to keep one die. There's another hurting one, and another messing with epics, but I still need more damage to defeat her outright. I've got no research, although I do need like some blue, maybe. I don't know. Let's keep that and roll this one one more time. Ooh, and got double money. That's uh, gonna help us buy some new equipment. That's great. And Sam's unique among characters in that he starts out with one of every special die and no basic white dice. And also his wild card ability means he doesn't have to keep any dice after his first and second roll if he doesn't like any of them. I mean, I don't really know what I wanna roll here, so wow, um, definitely not that. We don't need the enforcement defeating because with the uh, drone, we'll basically be able to take them all out. I mean, double money. Double money never hurts. We will keep that one. But the rest of these, no, I want more damage. And it's not going to do it. I mean, hmm. But I do have two research. And worst case, with my wild, I could get a third. And I would, again, convert to three damage. And then I think with Mizzy's abilities, we'd have enough to uh, defeat our pink friend. Ooh, and there we go. It's a double decrease of the bad guy's powers and a third research. Okay, that worked out pretty well. And now we get to resolve our actions whatever order we want. There are a few that are pretty basic. Let's just get uh, Mizzy to planning tokens. Again, they will be off her board until the end of her turn. Then she'll get them for a future turn. And she might as well get us two money. That never hurts. Here's our little money track. We don't get to buy anything until the end of the turn, so we won't worry about what's available yet. And what the hey, Sam might as well get us two money as well. And then while Sam's at it, let's go ahead and do the triple research. So I started both characters on pink pinknesses. God, that's hard to say. <laughs> on her district, you can choose where you start. Uh, to move to a different district, it costs one die of any type or one of those wilds. But yeah, so she has had her weakness found out. She goes down to four life immediately, which is just fine with Mizzy, just fine, because she's got one, two, three attack epic actions. And her demolition power is pretty cool. She can either rotate it, exhaust it, to do one damage plus one for each demolition token she throws away from the card. Right now I have zero. Or she can add one demolition token. So she's either like building up bombs or attacking with them. So right now I can just attack one more with it. That'll be enough to finish her off. Uh, alternatively, I could have added a token, gotten it up to a three potential attack for the future, or five. Certainly more efficient to do that, but we needed to finish her off. So that's one, two, three, four pink pinkness is defeated. We immediately get her benefits. Gosh, we're rich. <laughs> we get two research, which must be applied to the district where she was defeated. And ooh, you have to resolve these icons as you reach them. This one is a negative one. We have to lose one of these wild tokens. We'll get rid of uh, Mizzy's prep. But on a positive side, we get two money and can remove two enforcers from anywhere. It does not have to be where the epic is. And she's removed, by the way, but sadly, this is only temporary. You always add another epic. We'll see that in a moment. But yeah, two enforcers. We can get rid of the one guy here and one of these guys, I guess. And then Mizzy might as well use her drone. It lets her pick any location, not only where she is, and remove up to two enforcers there. So we are enforcer less at the moment. I like that. And now Mizzy, sadly, without her wild, has only a contain epic die left, and there's no epic in her location. So she could either like do nothing with that or she could move. Let's see, where about I wanna move? I don't like the look of this warhead guy and that's also where Regalia is. But Avalanche is gonna be like putting down barricades and attacking our base. Uh, let's send her over to him for now. Or well, she could just stay where she is, but no, I don't wanna waste the die. Meanwhile, Santa has three contain epic actions left and a plan. It obviously is gonna go over here. I want to tamp down Warhead a bit and I could even mess with Regalia's actions. And you know, I like the sound of that. So let's spend my plan to move here. And then for these three, Let's bring Warhead down to the most basic level possible. And then which of these do I want to mess with? 
Uh, her yellow track's gonna have her attack the city. Remember, that gets us closer to losing. Her black track will attack us mainly monetarily. She'll like steal our dice eventually and also attack our money. The red track puts down more of those enforcers, although I seem fairly able to deal with them. And then the blue track is kind of a wild card. First of all, she gets this copy one that can like make uh, epics get extra actions. And then the blue effect is to roll this transform die and get like random actions. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, yeah, let's actually deal with that. I don't want to <laughs> deal with random stuff happening. And then before all their stuff happens, I get to purchase equipment. Uh, we've got a med kit, which can heal two population every round for free. That's pretty wild, just to keep the game going. A utility tool that can change any one icon into another, so basically gets you what you need every turn, only costs one. An epic DNA gets you a yellow die permanently. That's great, <laughs> I love more dice. And then illicit investments turns up money icons on white dice into double money, which uh, might help me out, but I only have two white dice like for Mizzy. So now let's get the uh, epic DNA. And Mizzy already has two yellow dice, so let's give this one to Sam. And that card's immediately replaced. Fuel cells, ooh, any double icon on a die counts as a triple icon instead. That's pretty wild, but four. We don't have four to spend, and actually uh, some of the actions that are out right now make, make us lose a money, which means we don't want to spend everything. So I think I'll just get that utility tool, maybe for Mizzy since she didn't get a fun item yet. And then explosives, ooh, we can turn attack enforcer symbols on white dice and do double symbols. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we need that yet. <laughs> All right, so we've got two monies left for now. Oh, and Mizzy will get her plan tokens for using next turn. But now we have to deal with the epics themselves, including Regalia. And uh, first, we replace any epics that got defeated. So here we've got Fortuity. You'll see that he has infinite life. <laughs> That's because he has a power that makes him impossible to hurt. In this case, he's like super lucky. Uh, so we need to research him before we can ever defeat him. But the nice thing is new epics when they come in are pretty weak. They start on their lowest power level. So he's just going to take away some plan tokens. That's not the end of the world. And yeah, let's mark his stuff. Right, but now we activate the epic, starting with the one in Regalia's location. So this guy, uh, Warhead, he's got arrows pointing to both sides with a little red shield. And this is why I don't like him, why I want to defeat him. He's going to guard against us actually defeating the enforcers, because where these are on both of these cities, before we can attack any enforcers there, we need to go over there and take an enforcer action to remove it, which means our uh, drone won't be nearly that great. But yeah, it's going to be annoying for sure. And then after you activate an epic, you slide their slider one to the right, plus one for every enforcer. Luckily, they're all gone. But next turn, he can boost Regalia's red track. So anytime you see like the red, blue, uh, yellow, or black icon, that's boosting the boss. Meanwhile, Avalanche is tunneling through the ground to find our base. Uh, first, he places a barricade down here. This means we cannot move into or out of this district, so uh, Mizzy's a little bit stuck. But the nice thing is any character anywhere can use any die or a plan token to get rid of one of those. But then he's going to hurt our base once for each barricade. This is a common thing to make the uh, epics in the expansion feel more unique in that they like have something specific to do and then they get boosted by it. Here's our base. It goes down one each time it gets attacked. And if it goes off the board, then we have to lose one die from one player supply, and we can't get it back until during the uh, spend money phase, we spend two money for it. So it uh, kind of messes up our economy and messes up the dice we're rolling for the next round. And he's boosting Regalia's black track, which means speaking of money, she's going to be not too happy with us. Next turn, if I don't weaken him or deal with him, he's going to attack the population once for each barricade, and first we'll put a barricade down. So <laughs> I need to either get rid of those or defeat him. And finally, Fortuity is going to force us to lose a plan token. Mizzy's the only one who has one, and he'll attack the population double next turn. And finally, Regalia, she's doing three damage to the population. One, two, three. And they're at 40, so we've got it to 37. Not too bad, but the boss will just whittle that down. And she's attacking our base and our money, hitting us where it hurts. And if we couldn't pay the money cost, this is why I didn't spend all my money, we'd actually have to uh, get rid of items to make up the cost. That's not fun. Then she's adding an enforcer to each of the other locations next to her, and then one more in a clockwise direction. That's what these icons mean. So in short, two end up here with Mizzy, and one ends up with Fortuity, and they're all guarded. Darn it. Thanks, Warhead. And finally, a big fat nothing for the uh, blue track. And by the way, her tracks do not increase at the end of her turn like regular epics. They're only increased by the other epics using their color-based powers. But she's not done. Regalia is going to move around. And what she does is she goes to the next district in clockwise order that has a Reckoner at it. So she's going to jump over here with Mizzy. Hello. And then she's going to attack the Reckoners there. And oh man, this means that Mizzy can't use her character power this turn. So no demolition for bonus damage. And they've got handy tokens to track that. I don't love it. But that is the end of their turn. Let's uh, see if we can have a plan here. 
And so Avalanche is pretty bad, but honestly getting like uh, three maybe uh, blue actions to contain him would get him down to just putting a barricade down. That's literally a single action to get rid of. So I don't know if I need to kill him. I just want to uh, <laughs> weaken him. Warhead, on the other hand, this basic action is incredibly annoying. So I kind of just want to defeat him. And he's also the weakest epic on the board. Uh, three research and three attack would kill him or just six attacks straight up. Although I don't know if I can get that much in one turn. And then Fortuity is a little bit annoying, but again, his uh, first action is just a single thing. Now, doing double damage to the town, that's not great. So if I get a chance, I want to weaken him too, but I don't know if that'll happen. All right, let's start out with Mizzy. Uh, remember, she's got the utility tool now to change one thing into something else. Uh, double money. I mean, yes, that is... Ooh, I definitely want this because that'll get rid of the shield and then she can actually use her drone to defeat the uh, two guys at her location. Man, I guess I want the contain epic because I wanted to take Avalanche down a peg or three. And then, I mean, it's hard to say no to a double. Okay, we'll keep all of that. And then, ooh, nice. And no, I don't really want those. And finally, oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll uh, try to research Warhead. Maybe she'll move over there. If she has enough actions to do it. So let's see, if she can research for two or three, we just need like one more research and some damage from Sam. All right, let's see. I mean, I want like the Reckoner damage. Owen, the one research she didn't get. Now, the blues are nice, but how do I get over to Avalanche to use them? I don't really want him to have to move. I also want more damage. All right, for now, let's keep on rolling. Ooh, there we go. Double damage. That'll be enough to finish off Warhead with the research if all goes as planned. So then I do kind of want to focus on lowering the epic powers if I can. And what I end up with. Okay. Uh, interesting mix there. I don't know if I'll be able to even use the red there. That could be a move, I guess. All right, so first let's focus on taking down Warhead. So Sam can go in and research him twice. So he's one away from losing uh, three of his life. Meanwhile, Mizzy doesn't want craziness to happen over here, so she's going to use her one red to get rid of the defense here. And then she can use her drone to defeat both enforcers here. I don't think we're going to get the one on Fortuity Space, unfortunately. Now, she does have to get over to Sam to help him research. But let's actually use a Sam's random red die to get rid of the barricade, stopping her from doing that. But before she leaves, let's weaken Avalanche some. She's got two blue. And I definitely don't want him boosting Regalia, so we won't be able to get him all the way down, but that's only going to be a single attack on our base since we took away his first barricade. And, hmm. She's got one research to run and the second one to actually make Warhead vulnerable. Oh, and then the utility tool can change something into something else. Instead of getting three money, I could get two money and change the other money icon into, like, I don't know what, another contain epic, maybe? Oh, sure, because look, this makes sense. I'd much rather weaken her so we don't lose the money anyway. So again, I'll get one money from this brings us to two. And the utility tool will turn the other money icon into the blue icon and will weaken Regalia since uh, she's still with her so that she won't be stealing her money. And then she'll move with that and then research Warhead. And I guess she'll keep her one plan. All right, so Warhead is down to three life. Much easier because Sam's got one, two, three attack for him. So that is our second epic defeated. We get three research here. Uh, one, two. We're going to get help. There's this mysterious epic in the city called Dawn's Light. Whenever we get one of those icons, we get to flip it. And ooh, we got a double plan that's waiting for us. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm supposed to draw two of them. Raise population by three or get two plans. I want the plans. And you can go to any one of this location, and actually they're both here. So let's give it to Mizzy since Sam has more dice than her right now. And then we're also losing one money with a third move, but he's giving us two money, so it's one overall. And we are up to three. And Mizzy might as well go ahead and use this. So uh, again, she doesn't get them yet, but they'll be hanging out for later. Sam's still got two contain epics. I guess he'll move and then use one of them. Let's see, I could go to Fortuity and take away two damage, although I usually like to let the city get a little bit hurt. I could uh, stop Avalanche from hurting our base as much, or I could move to Regalia and weaken her. I don't mind the two enforcers because uh, two in the same space, me and my drone can kill them. So yeah, I think I'll weaken that, so we're not getting the base attacked as much. Of course, Sam needs to be there, so there's after he moved. All right, that's it. I've got a uh, three money this round, and I can spend all of it. Medkit is great, but I don't really need it yet explosives I don't think are too helpful. Listen, investments, man, I don't necessarily love any of these. I guess I could just wait until I can afford fuel cells. Oh, and actually, I just checked fuel cells combos with uh, other like doublers. So if I use illicit investments to turn white money symbols into double symbols, they would become triple symbols. Hmm. All right. I mean, it seems good to get more money, right? That'll bring us down to one. Come on, give me an awesome replacement. Ooh, jacket for an extra black die. Again, more dice, always good. 
And of course, I'm going to get to Mizzy because uh, <laughs> she has white dice and Sam doesn't. So it would be useless for him. And since my turn is ending, we're going to go to the epics. Demolitions is not taken away anymore. Speaking of epics, let's see who comes a death point. Okay, not too bad to kill. Easy to research. He's going to take away our money. Okay, well, good thing we have one money left. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have to, again, sell some stuff. And who's activating first is our friend Avalanche. One barricade attacking our base and moving on up one spot. All right, so we're not found yet. Then Fortuity with the Enforcer is going to be a little bit nasty. Uh, he's destroying one of our plans. Mizzy's got the only one. Oh, no, that's right. Now these ones like, become available, so she's got three. Two now, of course. Then he's going to attack the city for two. And then he's going up. Next time, he'll boost the boss with a yellow and attack the city for even more. Not great. And we are down to 34. And then Death Point's coming for our money and then he's going to try to boost her yellow. We're down to zero money. She's attacking the city for three. It's down to 31. Wow, we're already a quarter of the way dead about. But then no black and no blue, but she is adding two enforcers uh, clockwise, one enforcer counterclockwise. Which means, man, Soho is not looking so good. Uh, by the way, if uh, a epic tries to advance past the end of their track, they just keep on resolving this rightmost icon for each uh, space they couldn't advance. Finally, Regalia is jumping back to Mizzy's location and hitting her with, <laughs> really, the exact same one. All right, so Mizzy is not going to demolition again. Darn. Whatever, she doesn't care. She's got some cool stuff going on. Let's see. Ooh. That's a double money. Okay, and a double plan. That seems pretty darn good. What else do we want to use, though? We do need at least some reds uh, to take out. Yeah, I mean, Missy's got a enforcer right on her spot. But other than that, I really love some blues, like uh, Death Point. I could just get down to hurting our money. We can get a ton of money, so that wouldn't bother me at all. For 2 I'd like to get down a bunch. Avalanche, I'd like to weaken at least one, if not two. And then I gotta take out these enforcers. So long story short, planning and research, not what I'm looking for. Um, okay, that might be useful. I don't think I need attack. And, oh, okay, I will take that. That's a lot of plans for the future and at least one blue action. And with that, I think we might have enough enforcer action, so I'm really looking for some blue here. All right, I'll take blue, blue, blue. Oh, man, that double plan as well. I can't really say no, can I? Double attack epic. I don't, I don't think I need to kill any of these guys. So I'm actually not going to use that. I'm not going to use the research. Let's go for the second roll. Okay. Um, don't really care. Actually, we might need a red. Okay. And final roll. Wow. All right. All right. Uh, I guess we could start hurting somebody. Right, so let's see. Let's start with Mizzy. She's definitely going to get two money with her illicit investments. I and mean, then since she's on a location with the one enforcer, she'll go and spend that and defeat him. Bye. She can also go to lower death point one since she's right here. And then let's see. She's got to move. I guess I'll use the one enforcer die to do that. I want to get her over to Fortuity's spot. And then she's got a double plan. She'll use the utility tool to change this into an enforcer symbol in a plan. So that'll get her one wild for next turn, but it'll also get rid of this shield. That's annoying. And then we'll definitely drone it up and get rid of two of these guys. We'll see if uh, Sam can get rid of the last one. And she's got another double plan. She'll just plan with that. So that gives her two wilds left and three more coming up. Let's uh, see what Sam can do before we decide if we want to spend those. All right, so let's see. Um, he's on Avalanche and he's got up to three weakens. I think, uh, I guess I could do two and stop us even from getting attacked. So he's down to basic. And then I will go ahead and plan twice, because why not? And I got this double attack. I don't want to attack anybody right now. I'm just going to use this to move. Oh, I forgot about the barricade. He'll just use his enforcer die to get rid of that so he can move. He'll come join her at Fortuity's spot. He'll lower Fortuity 1 with his remaining blue. And then he's got two research. You can actually just apply that to the city without having to worry about the epics. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd rather... Ooh, that gets us a Dawn's Light. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. So we can get two money or two more research. Ooh, I kind of want the money to get that extra die for next turn. He also to spend that straight up. And now literally all that's left are her two wilds. I'm going to spend them both because we're getting more. One to hit Fortuity down one so he doesn't boost Regalia, and one to stop him from leveling up faster. I'm pretty happy with all of that. So I didn't accomplish a ton this turn, but I did weaken every epic down to almost beginning. So that feels pretty good. Now I do need to save one money for death points power. So besides that, let's go ahead and do three. I wish I could get the fuel cells. And I'll get the jacket for Mizzy. So she has a seventh dice just like Sam. Coming out next, schematics. Ooh, a plan every turn. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. But now we get to the epics. Death Point steals our last dollar, but that's it. Avalanche just puts down a barricade. Anything can get rid of that. So that's awesome. And Fortuity takes a plan. We'll take one of Mizzy's because she had three. Stacking the population double. 
Here we go. He's going to attack him for three more. That's five, which brings us down to, oh my gosh, 26. Yeah, suddenly buying that med kit <laughs> does not seem like a terrible idea. And then the only other thing she's going to do is put out three enforcers. But the beautiful thing is they don't have any shields to block them this time. Two with avalanche and his barricade, one with fortuity. But ooh, to finish the round, this is a bummer. I probably shouldn't have done this. By leaving us both on the same spot, we're both going to get hit by her attack. Oh, which means this time we each have to give up a die for the round. Are you kidding me? Um, I guess a basic for Mizzy. Maybe a money for Sam. We have so many double money uh, dice, so sure. All right, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but we have so many wilds. I bet we can do okay. So what do we want to do this turn? Quite honestly, none of these epics freak me out too much. So I want to defeat the enforcers, and I want to weaken them some. Maybe weaken Regalia too, if I can. Maybe get some money to buy that med kit. But in the end, I wouldn't mind just kind of rushing some research, I think. So we'll keep any big purple rolls we get. Yeah, purple and blue and money all sound good to me. All right, so Mizzy. Okay, we got a blue. Oh, man, we got two double. I mean, those are so good, right? And then, oh, okay. Uh, geez, um, done with this one. <laughs> See if we can get some money with that. Oh, uh, we won't count it. Um, okay, another blue. Sure, you know what? <laughs> That's entirely fine. So Mizzy's already done. All right, but how about Sam? Let's see. Ooh, research, research. And a blue for weakening. And a double wild. Um, did she get any reds? No. So Sam will keep one red to defeat the one guy on our space. But we don't want attacking yet. Oh, money? Um, we didn't really get any other money, did we? And that guy's still going to take some. So yes, I guess we do need at least one money. All right, is that... Wow, is that really it? Okay. All the double wilds mean we're going to have a slightly weaker turn this time, but a great turn next time. All right, so might as well get our one money. That'll just be a paid to death point, basically. And then Sam can attack Enforcers, defeat the single one on his space. And Mizzy can drone strike the two hanging with Avalanche. And I think Mizzy can handle Fortuity. Let's have Sam run over to death point and split our characters up and then lower him once. It gets him back to a basic level, which I love. And Sam will get his two plans for next turn. And he's got one research left. Uh, nothing negative happens yet with that. He does have two wilds left, but Mizzy has a ton of stuff left, so let's see what she's doing. I think she'll lower Fortuity twice, because I don't want him boosting Regalia, and yeah, we don't want to lose too many more people. And then she's got two research, which will get this down, two away from being done, and we do have to add a barricade, but those aren't too bad to deal with. And then, let's see, so she's going to get three plans and use a utility tool to change one of the icons. I think into a blue to weaken Regalia more, because I really don't like her killing too many people in the town. Oh, and Demolitions, um, I really want to focus on killing Regalia, so I think I'm actually going to put a bomb on here. And if I keep on doing that, I can eventually do seven damage in one go, which would certainly take down her uh, 15 life very quickly once she's vulnerable. So all that leaves left is both Sam and Mizzy with uh, two plans. I'll have Mizzy spend one to get rid of uh, the barricade that's already here, just so Avalanche isn't boosted more. And then you know what? Um, then we're going to spend two more, one from each of them to get money to three, then we can buy the schematics and get a free uh, token every turn. So that'll pay back for itself in two turns. And we'll still have one money to pay to death points. So yeah, that seems good. And that means Sam's got one left. I'm okay with that. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to buy the schematics and we can start getting one free plan per turn. I'll give that to Sam. He's feeling a little bit uh, card poor. Oh, and then what's this? Blackmail. Ooh, ignore the leftmost icon on the epic in your city. I don't know if that's worth three, but it's kind of cool. All right, but let's get to the epics. They're all pretty weak. Fortuity's going to take one plan. Uh, Sam's got one more, so he'll lose his. And then he boosts up to attacking again. Death Point takes our one remaining money like we planned. And Avalanche does a barricade and hits our base. We'll have to go deal with him in a second. We have not lost a card yet. And Regalia is pretty low. She's going to attack the town for two. It's down to 24. Still kind of safe. And going to put down our three enforcers. But I don't plan to weaken this anytime soon because the drone can only attack one location. So having an extra one in the clockwise location really doesn't matter at all. So two here and one there. Now what does matter is her attack. Uh, she's only getting Sam this time, which is certainly better than both of us. I know this I can deal with. I'm going to have to not use one of my equipment cards next turn. Yeah, I'd rather have a die immediately than a plan for the following turn. So we'll give her the schematics for this turn. And that is it. We're both in a place with an epic, so we can weaken them pretty easily. And then uh, maybe one of us can run up and weaken Avalanche. But besides that, let's research and fight. So Mizzy's back to seven dice. Very happy about it. And OK, it never hurts to have two wilds. Um, hmm. Yeah, the one attack, if she runs up with Avalanche, that's fine. Research we clearly want. I think the rest of these, I mean, I could keep money. But now, if we're going for the win and the research, then we should probably focus on that. Okay, blue. You can definitely use that. The rest of this I don't want. And then, ooh, okay. Huh. Um, <laughs> so you can use your utility tool to change one of those, but 
I guess I might have to attack somebody. All right, then Sam. Um, let's see. A yes, and yes, and we do need at least one money for death points, so sure. All right, and okay, again, can't really say no to that, and fine with that. Last roll. Okay, we got, okay. I want the research at least, so some good stuff there. We both have two wilds, so that'll help out. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, Miz will certainly just get her two plans for next time. And she absolutely does not need all these reds, so she'll use one to get rid of. I guess we got a barricade where she is and where Avalanche is, so let's get rid of both of them. Free up our movement and weaken Avalanche's actions. And she's got one research for Soho, but the next one would cost us two money. Ugh. Ah, but I mean, research is what we're here to do, right? Um, she's going to spend two plans to get our money up to two so we can tank that damage. And then instead of a plan, she'll use her utility tool and one of these random attack and epic dice. To take Soho down, we uh, use the two money. We are one third of the way, or more than that, <laughs> to be able to attack the boss. Oh, and on that note, let's uh, add another token to Demolition. She can get up to one more. And then do I want to weaken Fortuity or move somewhere else? I mean, he's going to attack Population, so sure, let's take him down one peg. But nothing to do with this other one. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> so I don't know if I want her to move. I don't think I do. Well, actually, no, I do want her to move. I'll send her over to where Sam is so she can research here because uh, he definitely has to go and deal with Avalanche. Oh, by the way, she'll drone away these two guys. All right, speaking of Sam, he's going to get one money for death point. And then, um, gosh, I kind of want to use all of these. <laughs> I mean, he'll get two plans. And he'll spend one of his current plans to move. Oh, after he takes away a uh, death point's boosting power. But then he's chilling with Avalanche. Uses one attack to take out the Enforcer. Boom. And he'll hit Avalanche down so he's not boosting Regalia again. And he's got two research and two wild. All right, so let's definitely research twice. That's going to add a copy token here. And these are nasty. For each one, you repeat an effect kind of going left. So if you had one, you repeat the leftmost effect. If you had two here, you repeat the two leftmost effects, which is clearly pretty bad for Avalanche because if he puts down a ton of barricades, that's uh, going to be tough. But I can use any uh, result to get rid of it. So I'm going to use my last wild. And Mizzy has one wild left, but she's going to save it, I think. So that'll be that. We sadly only have one money, so definitely not spending on anything. We don't want uh, death points to steal our stuff. But death point takes that one money. Avalanche takes a barricade, then hits our base. One away from losing a die and having to spend two to get it back. And for two, he takes a plan. Well, we've got a lot of those. Mizzy will give up one of hers. She's got three. And Regalia, same as before. Our population's down to 22, so we're actually doing fine now. And then her regular enforcers. And she moves to Sam and makes movement cost double for him. Hmm. I think I can actually not worry about that. I think Sam has enough to do where he is. So that's cool. Here, let's put me right on top of that to remind me. All right, let's go. All right, Mizzy, let's get some research. If uh, Sam can research a bunch and Mizzy can, then we will be ready to start attacking. She's got bombs. Oh my gosh, even more plans. Uh, <laughs> that's a double money. We want that. And double plan is kind of hard to say no to. The blue we want. Um, I don't know if we need the attack. I'm not going to use it yet. Let's uh, try to get some research. Come on. That's uh, not research. I got to keep one of these. Hmm. Okay, I guess I will keep the attack this time. And last one. Oh, well, that was pretty nice, actually. Uh, <laughs> a lot of doubles and research. I'll take it. All right, Sammy boy, how about you? Okay, double wild. Research, yes. Um, blue, yeah, actually. Uh, Avalanche is being kind of nasty over there, so we'll do those. And then, okay, double money. And yes, research. And one more time. Um, oh, double. Well, now we've already got the... Well, actually, you know what? Uh, if he kills those guys, then Missy can uh, shoot her drone at the other guys and I have to move over to them. So, OK, well, I'm talking like I have a choice. I have to keep those final dice. And so to start with Sam. He'll defeat the two enforcers and Missy will drone the other one. And then he'll go and research twice and let's see what happens. We have to roll the transform die and suffer its effect. Do 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 do. It's oh, another barricade. I guess Avalanche loves that. And no, you can't move, Sam. Remember? <laughs> so there that is. But Sam will actually weaken him one. And I think he'll use uh, this plan die to get rid of a barricade, I guess. He's got a plan. Let's weaken him again, because then how many barricades are there doesn't really matter. And we end with two plans, two more money for us, and another plan from the schematic. That is a lot. And he's still got one he can use this turn. Let's go ahead and get Mizzy's two and then four with the illicit investments. Brings us up to six money. I mean, I think we got to get the fuel cells, right? And Mizzy's over here. She'll use her one blue to weaken him. I guess we'll leave Fortuity strong for now. 
And she'll research this up, puts a blue shield on both other locations, which like the red shields means we can't uh, mess with the uh, epics tracks until we spend a blue action getting rid of it. But you know what the hell? Let's go ahead and spend both her plans to go down two more and get limelight cards. Oh my gosh. This is not what I want. <laughs> uh, well, I think you can still use this as like uh, getting rid of a barricade or uh, moving, so it's not useless. And let's see what else she's going to get. Her final demolition tokens. She's ready to attack for seven. Oh, we're pretty close to fully researching, so I think we want to hit Regalia next turn. And to that end, let's go ahead and... Ooh, wait. She still, has her, she still has her utility tool. So yeah, we will go ahead and get four plans. What do we want to change this into? Hmm. Can't lower death point anymore. Don't want to research yet because I would put copy uh, tokens on Avalanche and Fortuity. That would not be good. So what the hey? Let's get more money. Yeah. And I think that's all we need to do. And yeah, I mean, we have a ton of plans. I think we might be able to smash Regalia or get close to doing so next turn. And we got seven money. Let's spend uh, four of it to get the fuel cells. And a little flash grenade. Oh, that's nice. Turns white uh, blues into double blues. Although, hmm, a little bit late for that. I don't know if I love any of these. We'll just leave them for now. Who gets the fuel cells? I guess uh, Mizzy does. She can get like triple money and other fun stuff. All right, we might be wrapping this one up in another round or two. Uh, Avalanche just puts down a second barricade. Rotuti hits the town down to 20, still fine, and takes away a plan. Uh, Mizzy has, we both have four. Oh my gosh, so she'll give up one of hers though. And Death Point takes one of our three money. And Regalia hits population down to 18 and does her enforcer dance. And then she jumps right to Mizzy. Bad call. Mizzy is standing there with a bomb. Ooh, oh, this is annoying. <laughs> when I just got the fuel cells, uh, any double icons will only count as singles for Mizzy this round. Darn it. Well, it's okay. It's okay. All right, so quite honestly, if we can do one research here, and I'll add some copy tokens I won't care about, and then four here. I mean, that's a little rough, but uh, <laughs> to be fair, Sam's got four wild, so he can just make it happen. Although, God, how is he going to get out of here? <laughs> There'll be four barricades here, and Avalanche will love that. But yeah, if we can do that, Mizzy's ready to attack for seven out of 15. And if she can get as many dice as possible on green, also hit with the wilds, we should be able to get her very close to dead, if not dead entirely. So yeah, Mizzy's going to go for hard attacks here. Green, green, green. I guess we do want a, at least like one research. Ooh, yes, that is a nice first roll. All right, and next. No, no, I don't care. I have to keep something. I guess the blue is better. And okay. <laughs> well, so it goes. I mean, while Sam wants that research, most of all. Ooh, double research and a double attack. Can he get out of his pace after he researches? I mean, maybe with these rolls. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. Ha ha ha. I mean, right? Right, let's let's kill some people. Uh, no, that's right. He doesn't have to keep anything. That's his power. And oh, a double blue, and he is not undoubled, so that's fine. And the money. Okay. Well, hmm, that seemed pretty good. Let's go do triple research first for Sam. So we're gonna get limelight cards. One attack. One attack. Come on. Uh, 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 plan, I guess. But then the reckoner base gets attacked. Uh oh. And that's enough for us to lose a die. It'll cost us two to get it back. Uh, we can pick a die that's already been used, I think. So Sam will put his blue since we don't really need double research in a second. And then uh, this pops back up. He needs one more research and I don't have it. So he'll use one of his wilds and that, that's two more barricades. And he'll lose this die and this die and two wilds to get rid of all of them. And he's about ready to kill, kill, kill. Uh, but let's get uh, Mizzy to do her thing. Yeah, I think this is definitely the end. She's going to research with her one die. Oh no, copy tokens on the other people. These might look cool. They uh, certainly are happy for Fortuity and Avalanche, but you know what they don't do? Save some water from getting blown up. So with every location researched, we just got to do 15 damage to Regalia. And you know what's a good way to get that started? Two, four, six, seven. <laughs> so she's down to eight. Oh, good Lord. Wait, did I say eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Uh, utility tool, make one of these a one, and then Sam can run in there, zero, negative one, negative three, which is good, because I'm not 100% sure if the, uh, like, no doubles thing affects demolitions. I don't think so, but even if it did, we uh, still got three more than we needed. So, boom, regalia. Uh, this was the normal difficulty, so clearly we could have made things much tougher. But she goes to her watery grave, and we are victorious. So thanks for watching, everybody. The uh, Reckoners playthrough, again, with the Steel Slayer expansion. I think it adds a lot of good stuff. It adds uh, some variety that I think the game really benefits from in the locations and the epics. Uh, makes things more interesting. 
the game's still pretty overproduced. Um, and I still think, especially on lower difficulties, it can have like uh, similar strategies from game to game. But I definitely think the expansion adds a lot of uh, life and variety to the experience. And I still love the excitement of the simultaneous dice rolling, although <laughs> less simultaneous when you're playing solo for a video recording. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, go check out the game if you're interested. Check out the book series again. Really, really good stuff from Brandon Sanderson. Thanks for watching, everybody. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.